the damn map over there. So stupid. All right, here we go, guys. Prism Football Mega Box 10 Box. Pick your team number three. I just added number four of this to the website. If you're interested, you can go grab your team for the next one. Alrighty. Good luck, everybody. Let's get a big hit here. like my teams redo it oh yes right away philip sorry guys we got to redo the random because philip does not like his teams sorry for the confusion i apologize dramatically i am so sorry Ben DiNucci, it is a rookie autograph, neon, what do they call these, neon, green pulsar, excuse me, green pulsar autograph, Dallas Cowboys, Jeffrey W, Ricky Shigur, it's okay, let's redo, <laughs> Henry Ruggs, Raiders, Gino Atkins Bengals. Hollow is Adam Thielen or uh, I guess the Prism in this, not a Hollow. Silver, not not a prism. Silver, silver prism. I had to think about that for a second. I'm like, what the hell did he call these? Saying hollow with the optics for what seems like forever recently. Keith says this pizza is tremendous. Keith, you ever have a uh, chicken parm pizza before? Chicken parm pizza is pretty good. It's another one I haven't had since New York days. And pizza is good? Yes. Yes, it is, D-Dark. 
You guys have good pizza in Canada? We have a 400 point card. Boom! Points will be random to the break at the end. Patty Mahomes, this is a go hard or go home insert. Mark Ingram. I eat a lot of buffalo chicken pizzas from my usual place. Yeah, buffalo chicken pizza is good. For sure. Silver is James White for the Patriots. There's a Tom Brady for the Bucks. There's a Huntley for Detroit. Buckeye with the creepy face in the chat. What's up, Buckeye? <laughs> in this town, it's great. Ours is mostly Greek style. I'm not sure if I'm familiar with Greek style pizza, to be honest with you. But I like, I think I've liked just about every pizza I've ever tried. But when I was younger, I remember having pizza with some terrible flavored sauce in Florida. It was pretty terrible. We were we were on family vacation back in the 90s. You consider yourself a pizza expert? Would you go as far as to say a pizza connoisseur, Keith? He says I consider myself a pizza expert. What kind of a pompous thing is that to say, Keith? <laughs> I'm a little bit of a pizza snob, if you will. I worked in two different pizza places for six years. Each or six years combined? Places are always better than the chains when it comes to pizza. Always. Greek sounds like no sauce, olive oil with spinach. I've called myself a pizza snob before, he says. I mean, it's, it's a good amount of time in a, in a pizzeria working there. Talk about talk about making some bank. Those pizzerias, man, they freaking make some money. That's what I should do. Should open up a freaking New York style pizzeria down here. Truck in some New York water. Devin Bush for the Steelers. Robert Woods for the Rams. Silver. Pizza and bagel shop. Joe Burrow, emergent rookie for the Bengals. Jason Huntley, autograph for the Detroit Lions. Here we go again. Let me guess. You love Sparrow. <laughs> Listen, Ricky Shagoots, different strokes for different folks. Me, personally, I'm, I'm not ordering, I've never ordered and will never order pineapple on my pizza. That's not to say I wouldn't eat it. If I went somewhere and all the pizza that was there 
had pineapples on it, I would definitely rock it out. I'd eat it. You know? If I was hungry, I'd probably have two slices. Maybe three, even. If I was really hungry. You know? But I'm not about to order a pineapple on my pizza. So I'm not going to, like, offend anybody and say, you know what, your pineapple doesn't belong on your pizza. If that's how you want your pizza, that's how you should get your pizza. But I'm not getting my pizza like that. Just saying. All right. Sparrow is, is what, did, what, did, what did you call it, Axios? Toll booth pizza? <laughs> Something like that? It's freaking toll booth pizza. See you, Herbert. I eat pineapple pizza. I don't mind it. Yeah, I mean, listen, to each their own, man. Oh, we got a Herbert and a Tua. Whatever you like, man. If some, if there's somebody out there saying like, oh, yo, yo, pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. What are you talking about? Blah blah. blah. That person's a jerk. Alright? If you like pineapple on your pizza, you get pineapple on your pizza. You don't worry about what that sh what that jerk says. Okay? I'm not foxing with pineapple on the pizza. I'm just saying. But do you? Hubbard for the Bengals. Justin Herbert. Rookie base for the Bengals, for the Bengals, for the Bolts. Jeff Estep. Silver Joe Thomas for Cleveland. Howdy Mahomes Brilliance to a tongue of Iloa. Ricky Shagoots, I just love food. I'm with you, Ricky. There's not a lot of food I don't like. Oh, would you look at that? All pro Fred right there. Jack Youngblood for the Rams. Sensational. Signatures. It's a lot of ink on a sticker. <laughs> you s tried something tonight called a chicken palm roll. Tastes like dog shit. Alright, so chicken roll or also known as a chicken palm roll, because it's the same thing. Basically, chicken cutlet rolled into dough with sauce and cheese, right? Is that what you had? Sauce, mozzarella cheese, rolled in dough with breaded chicken. Pizza roll or chicken palm, chicken roll or chicken palm roll, whatever you want to call it. If you don't, if they don't use the right amount of cheese and sauce inside of there, it's not going to be good. You have to have the proportionate ratio of breading, chicken, sauce, and cheese in order for it to be very good. Now, if it's too dry, what you can do is you can dip it in side sauce, okay, Get a little side of sauce, and if you want to really pep up your side sauce you take some of that grated cheese that they got there on the tables and you like unscrew the lid and put like a big tablespoon worth on top of your sauce and mix it all in so your sauce gets nice and cheesy chunky and then you dip your freaking chicken roll in that and that makes it taste real good cute. that's a pro tip right there 
No, free of charge. Oh, uh, super greasy? Yeah, probably using shardy mootsy. Using some bad cheese on there. <laughs> chicken, I love chicken rolls. You don't find those type of things here. Like, you, you get something, like, the best thing you can do is like a stromboli. Two side sauces. Through Celtics Friday night buckets. Yeah. Who was that guy, Axios? It was somebody who wasn't from up there. He was like, oh. It was the guy from uh it was the guy from Chicago who first said Chicago's pizza is better than New York pizza. And then subsequently said he went to New York and he had really good pizza from a place called Sparrow. No, not really good pizza. He said, I had the New York pizza. I went to a place like Sparrow and it wasn't good. Didn't he say that? Something like that? I don't know. It was something, something along those lines. It's like, I had your New York pizza. That Sparrow was trash. <laughs> Willie McGinnis for the Patriots. <clears throat> Chubb for the Browns. Something, something along those lines. The guy was all sorts of twisted. He didn't know what the hell he was talking about. Brilliance Rogers. Mexi roll? <clears throat> a Mexi roll from a pizzeria? Where they throw some rice in there? Julian O'Quara. Detroit Lions. Lions for days. <clears throat> but that same type of roll you can get with, you know, they do sausage rolls or meatball rolls or whatever. Same same type of jazz. Chase Young. Hamler for the Broncos. Chicken chicken rolls though. Get a good chicken roll from a from a pizzeria that's doing it right. Banging. Delicious. Chili dog pizza. Hot dogs cut pepperoni thin. Chili for sauce. Onion cheddar sprinkles finished with mustard. It was amazing. Interesting. I'd give it a twirl, Axios. Not going to lie. I, I like meatball on my pie. I like, I like meatball pie. Or, or straight Sicilian with extra cheese. I don't really dabble too much with uh, different kinds of toppings that often. Sicilian, extra cheese, or traditional round pie with meatball topping. Nice and simple. If they don't have meatball, I'll just get... Traditional round pie, extra cheese. 20 kinds of rolls. That's crazy. Seasoned beef jalapeno cheese. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just a sandwich to a, to a point. More points. Speaking of points. As I say the word point, points come out of the pack. Good riddance. Feta is delicious on pizza. Just had the most slamming chopped cheese. What's chopped cheese? Is that like a mozzarella stick or something? Those Arab dudes put their best work into this sandwich? What? What are you talking about, BZ? Huh? Sissy? Freaking point.
points. Water Panini points. We got another Herbert, though. Yeah, buddy. That's two for the bolts. Jeff Estep in the money now. Get him, Jeff. Russell Wilson for the Seahawks. Tua, I guess Tua and Herbert are running together in this stuff. Hey, what's up, Cat? It's the Harlem version of a Philly cheesesteak. Really? Chopped cheese. I've never heard of that before. Malcolm Butler Titans. Hollow Melvin Gordon for the Broncos. Axe, let's drink Coors Light and get arrested sometime. <laughs> there was an emergent emergent rookie of Burrow. Pacers up 12 to 2 on the Celtics. Holy. Don Rosoptic White Sparkle Packs hit in like two days. 2,500 points a pack. Football. You can flip points right now for stacks of cash. Oh, baby. <clears throat> Sounds, what do we call it? BCO? Uh, Scrum diddly umptious. You could invite him to your your little fiesta when we when we have the national in Rosemont this year, but he won't show up, Axios. I'm on a date drunk, sorry dudes. Twelfth, twelfth, can you hear me? Rosemont, Illinois. It's uh, it's very close to Chicago. Like like 20, 20, 30 minutes away from Chicago. She's pissing. Thought I'd say hello to my homies. Yo, did you tell her about your herp yet, 12? <laughs> Yo, let her know, man. It's not right to conceal that from her. You have an obligation. Are you going to go to the National Cat? <laughs> James Proch. Auto for the Ravens. Hey, Jude. <clears throat> what up, Jude? Isn't it crazy that 12th on a date with a chick? First thing he thinks about when she gets up to go to the bathroom, let me go check in with my boys on the PCB chat. Let them know I'm out getting crunked with another female. The, the, the only thing I'm wondering, because based on the stories we've heard from, from uh, 12th Man in the past, the only thing I'm wondering is if the female he's with knows she's on a date with him. Because the last time it was like a big confusion thing. So he's either out for drinks with a friend or he's on a date. Says he's on a date with this chick. But she's just like not on a date. You know? McCaffrey Panthers. JJ for the bikes. To party with my on a brewery tour. It'll be fun when we get a party bus and crush it. 
Listen, if you want to party with me in, in Chicago, Axios, you'll have to find me at Scores. I'll be at Scores. When I'm not at the convention center or in my hotel room, I'll be at Scores, Axios. I don't know if that's some kind of special insert there, but we'll, we'll load it up. Hype. There's an IU rookie. Michael Gallup. Jalen Hurts. Rookie. Albert Okwigabinam. No shit talking 12th man. She isn't pissing she left out the back door. <laughs> she she straight up breezed him. She straight up breezed on him. She left. Edward Zilair rookie. She breezed on you. Social workers do wellness checks, bro. That's not considered a date. <laughs> There's supposed to be a national. As far as I know, it's 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 on. But I know there's 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 card shows happening all over the country, so I don't see why at this point we wouldn't be able to have a national. I don't see why they wouldn't have it at this point. People seem to be existing just fine in in, in the state of the world with their masks on. East Coast National better than no national? Rosemont's a good venue. All the hotels are right around within walking distance from the from the the convention center and then you got uh Plenty of places to eat. There's a casino not far away from there. If you want to go downtown Chicago, it's like 20, 25 minutes away. It's really, um, it's a nice venue. It's a good spot, Rosemont. I've been to two, two Rosemont Nationals. He's been pissing for a long time, he says. <laughs> Twelfth. Might want to ask for that check now, bro. Time to go. Too, Jude. Wait, it's a full 40 minutes away from your house, Axios? 40 minutes? CJ Henderson for the Jags. That's a more common card than I thought. Jordan Love Packers. Dion Jones for the Atlanta Falcons. I saw Dion and Falcons. I was like, wait, what? KT says she gone. Wow, 12 man, Cat says she's gone. Oh my goodness, hilarious. She gone. McLaurin for Washington. Nikhil Harry Silver for the Patriots. That is freaking hilarious. <laughs>
the traffic here could be 40 minutes to get two miles. The Long Island show at that college? What, Hofstra? Hofstra's a trash show. It's a, it's a much more small, intimate place, the Hofstra show. It's not nothing fancy at all. Axios! <laughs> I've never been to it, but I heard the White Plain show is good. The Hofstra show is no dice. No waste your time going there. Get out the window in the bathroom. <laughs> Yo, 12. White Plains got to be the closest one. Keith, how far are you from White Plains? Jamie says, D, I have some more Pokemon codes for you. I appreciate that, Jamie. Thank you. I haven't had anybody ask since the kid on Wednesday. Ryan for the Jets. Patty Mahomes. Raekwon Davis for the Miami Dolphins autograph. Tom's River. Sicky Dolphins. Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams for the Dolphins. Still hanging in there. Still making. Ricky Williams is years into retirement. Still making the prism checklist. I'll take them, Jamie. I appreciate it. Send them over. All right, we're putting all our hopes and dreams into this last box here. Let's go, last box. When I was stationed at O'Hare, our billeting was at the Clarion in Rosemont, down the block from Giordano's Pizza. The airport's really close. O'Hare is really close. Very close. Who are you speaking about, Keith? Pop, pop, 
Andre Johnson for the Texans. Hollow, Sean Alexander, Seahawks. Brilliance, Mahomes. Oh, Ricky Williams. Twenty-three family-sized boxes of cinnamon toast crunch. Who buys 23 size boxes of Toast Crunch? Kenyon Drake for the Arizona Cardinals. Autograph going out to Kenny Bob. Oh, William H., I'm with you 100%, but <clears throat> there's a Chase Young rookie. Kinlaw for the Niners. 23 boxes. Holy, what are you talking about? That is a wrap on the break. Let's see if I got a little uh, prism blaster back that I can throw in here. There was another one. Was it? Was that the name of the place? Pink Monkey? 22? We went to some other place one night. <clears throat> it was much closer to Rosemont than, uh, than Scores was. Because Scores is a little bit of a hike. But I cannot remember the name of it. It doesn't... Pink Monkey doesn't ring a bell. It was something else. If someone told me it, I would remember what it was. But I can't, I, that's, that wasn't it. Not pink one. Prison Blaster? Let's check out a blaster. What you may not know is cinnamon. Yeah, that's probably the 122. Yeah, that's the one. Heavenly bodies, yeah. What you may not know is cinnamon toast crunch is a complete meal. You can live years on it, and that and powdered milk fill my bug out shelter. You can live years on it, but you'll probably develop diabetes in the process. I mean, they put a lot of sugar in that cereal. A lot. I love it. I don't. I rarely eat cereal, but if I get cereal, I'm getting cinnamon toast crunch. For sure, for sure. The lady taking my order yelled at me that they had no Pokemon. <laughs> Heavenly Bodies was the one. I have a video somewhere, the freaking taxi cab driver that drove us there. The guy literally, he had a leaking tire. And he literally, when he dropped us off, he was, wait, he was waiting in the parking lot. Filling his freaking tire up. He had a little tire pump with him. I have a video on, on my, one somewhere on my computer or something of this freaking guy. Refilling his freaking tire with an air pump taxiing people around it's like what are you doing dude kenny clark for the packers orange laser this is a little bonus box for you guys khalil mack bears rookie tyler johnson buccaneers rookie terrell lewis for the rams baker dd for the jags and a Keelan, Keelan Cole for the Jaguars, silver. 
Ah, jeez. Have to weigh your options. We all gotta go someday. Live by the spoon, die by the spoon. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Yo, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is legit. That's... That stuff is banging. So good. We'll take a quick recap action here. We got to random up 800 total points. We have two 400 point cards. Have I dropped it the ship yet in Warzone? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. No, right after they did the update, I dropped there, and there was like 20 cars had pulled up, people from all over that area on the map, and a whole bunch of people had landed there. It's it's pretty crazy. I, I, I just go there once, and that's it. <clears throat> Would only end up there if the circle pushed it down. Of a game or something. These were orange lasers from a bonus blaster I threw into the break. Autographs. Drake, Davis, Jones, Proch, Oquara, Youngblood, Huntley, and Danucci. 800 Panini points. We'll go to the top team on. Oh, wait, did we do. Uh, no, it wasn't on your team. Top team on eight gets 800 points. <clears throat> Was straight madness on the, the first night, two nights ago. Tuesday night. Wednesday night, sorry. Wednesday night. Arizona Cardinals get the points. That goes to Kenny Bob cards. And that's a wrap on number three. Thank you very much, guys. Congrats to the hitters.